Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy, Gaming And in this episode, uh, we're going to get our hunter set up and then probably go after the alchemist. That's the plan, anyway. Um, so, let's see. I guess we need to talk to this guy first. The hunter's alive. Perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about survival in the Shrouded Lands. Okay. Um, let's get out of that. Oh, and now what we need to do is we need to get this summoning staff. And let's see, where do we want to put the hunter? Blacksmith standing over that way. Maybe we'll put the hunter over in um, this corner. Because why not? Okay. Athelin Scree, the hunter. Let's put her right here. Hey -o. Hey -o. All right, cool. Um, nope, 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 hit the wrong thing. Go to here and go to here. Okay, let's talk to the hunter here. What? Why are these guys all so rude? Okay, um, surviving together. Mm -hmm. I've uh, survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than per persevere. We must settle down, grow crops, revive the land. There's a place I remember, another ancient vault was built you should search it okay that's probably the farmer one finding salt there's many things we lack without a steady supply of salt it'll be challenging to preserve fur i mean not i might not be from here but i know the land well here i'll mark the location for gathering salt in your journal don't to disappoint okay um cool okay so now let's see what our uh, our crafting options are oh nice okay now we can do now we can actually make arrows so scrap arrows are actually uh, do quite a bit more damage than flint arrows. But, oh, we get 50, though. That's a pretty good deal, actually. 50 arrows for, for, for 10. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll probably, I, I still wouldn't say that I have an abundance of scrap metal. So I think what we'll do is we'll just make a whole bunch of, these oh look at this okay so this is just piercing only but like a lot of piercing whereas these have cutting piercing and poison hmm maybe from rust i guess how oh, interesting uh, okay so yeah we'll make we're gonna make a big batch of those oh we can make a backpack nice um and i've, I've actually looted some dry fur so we might already have enough of that and oh okay so we can make fur from the fur i was wondering what those fur patches were used for cool resin torch so this is an advanced torch that provides light for a longer period okay that's cool <coughs> a very durable and long lasting source of light made from wax equip this before starting your own thing uh uh you're sorry Starting your <laughs> expeditions into the unknown. My mind just decided to take a break there for a second. Um, cool. Okay, so, uh, but this is what I'm really interested in. Oh, nice. We can make carpet and wall decorations. Oh, we can put the fell thunder brute on the wall. How funny is that? Wood planks, though, right? We're going to need a carpenter for that, I think. Um, So, yeah, these can just be made right out of plant fiber. We'll probably have to have another at least partial episode, you know, once I, I get a few more of these guys and get a little bit further along and we'll do some more decorating of the house and maybe even upgrade the house itself to like better, you know, uh, material. Anyway, um, okay, so let's focus on this first. So we're going to need string, dried fur and bones for that. Looks like... In every case, we need that except for the boots require a resin. Okay, what does this give us? So this gives us a plus 12 stamina, okay, plus 5 stamina, plus 2% ranged damage, lever percent ranged critical strike chance. That's pretty generous, actually. And stam regeneration. Okay, so we're going to need a total of 5, 9, uh, 11, 
12, uh, 15. We're going to need a total of 15 dried fur. And I definitely don't have that much. But I kind of like the idea of... <coughs> Excuse me, maybe making... <coughs> this first what would we what would we be giving up uh, so we'd get two percent range damage and only eight physical um, we wouldn't be giving up that much physical we'd just basically be training ranged for melee okay I see um you know what? Maybe the backpack is the actual first thing we should try and get. I might have four dried furs. If I did, would they be in here? Look at that. Four dried furs. You know, that's all from looting, of course. Cool. Okay, I don't remember what else it said. I think it said we needed string. Um, you need string for all kinds of stuff and probably... No, we wouldn't need that because we've got the other... Uh, we got the, this here. So what was the other thing you said you wanted? Oh, cloth. Yeah, right. Okay. Good hunting. So we'll grab some. You know, while we're here, too, I want to make a whole bunch of flint arrows. So let's grab some flint stone and some twigs. And we might need to start mining flint stone now, but that's easy to do. Uh, okay. So let's make this, and then I want to make okay. That's all we can make at the moment. But that's fifty arrows, so that's pretty. That's pretty damn good. I like it, and I can very easily get more of that. Okay, so for the backpack, let's equip this, and it opens up a whole nother row. That's beautiful, and. It puts it right in this little slot right here I love it uh, okay so um, we need to get this made so that's easy peasy grab some wood logs and um, oh my goodness I'm my <laughs> my brain is really taking a break today you guys what, what was the other thing oh. oh string we already have it okay so let's make the drying rack nice now, um, we want to put, why is, oh, I, I, I couldn't figure out why the blacksmith was on my bar, but I think it's just because I've assigned the, um, the summoning wand to him. Okay, so this thing, like, this actually probably is something we would want outside too, because it probably gets stinky. Maybe we'll stick it right in this corner here. And let's set it to snap. There we go. That works. And then we just need to put... Oh, recipes, right. Okay. We just need to put animal fur and salt in there. I don't know if we need salt for anything else. But obviously we need it for this. So let's just grab a full stack of animal fur. We still have another almost half stack there. And I think I have salt in one of these guys. We have nine salt. Oh, incidentally, um, I found another flame altar. And I also found a root that's kind of in the side of a cliff that we might try and go get. Uh, here's the footage from that. Okay, yeah, so that was just on the way back from the, the hunter place. Um, all right, so yeah, let's do... 
Let's put this whole stack of this in here and all of that. So it takes three salt. Oh, wow. It takes three salt just to make one fur. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to go do this quest she wants us to do for salt because that's, that's not going to be very much. Not at all. All right, let's see here. So we got the drying rack done. We got the backpack done. Um, I'm probably gonna go grab a few, uh, some more flintstones, so we make another stack of that, and then, then we don't, you know, then we'll have lots of arrows. I'd like to make this wax torch. Um, and you know, I don't know why the hell I'm not pinning these. I should just pin them. Then I don't have to remember, right? I think this is better than the other torch. So, so we need one resin and one wax. Uh, racks. Wax. I was thinking rack. <laughs> oh my goodness. I promise I'm not drunk, you guys. I, I promise. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Okay, let's make the wax torch. It, it even has 12 damage, which doesn't suck. Uh, but it's 100 max durability. How much durability does the does this guy have? 50. Okay, so this will last twice as long. Um, is it brighter too? Well, it's kind of hard to tell. It doesn't really look like it's brighter. Why does it have a... If you look... In the number four slot of my toolbar, there's like a little white thingy that goes across the torch. I wonder what that means. Maybe that's like a durability cycle? I'll bet you that's what that means. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we got a nice upgraded torch, too. Um, Now, the next thing we're going to do is... I have decided, especially after... Um... I guess we'll put this in here. I'm going to start carrying the scrappy sword with me because this seems to do a better job of breaking jars than this big honking mace. I have no plans to do two-handed in this playthrough. So I think we're going to melt that mace down and get ourselves a whole bunch of runes so that we can upgrade our bow even further. Because we still have, I think, two upgrades left to go on that. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to go out and mine some more flint stone as well. I guess we're finished with, well, yeah, just hang on to that for the moment. If we go, I guess, see, how do we get rid of a pinned item without going back into the place where it originated from? Or maybe we can't. Um, so what was that? That was the torch, right? Yeah, the wax torch. Unpin. Yes, maybe that's the only way we can get rid of it. So yeah, um, I hope this. I hope I don't regret doing this, but I'm just not impressed with this weapon for breaking stuff, which is really the main reason why I was carrying it around. And um, so yeah, we're gonna do this. It's 35 runes. Oh, didn't that just say 35? How did we get 45 from it? I don't know. I'm not complaining. I just don't understand. I'm not complaining, though. Okay. And then I have 10 more runes in here. So both the hunter and the blacksmith can upgrade our stuff. And so let's go to the wor uh, wolf's snarl. That's kind of a tongue twister. Wolf wolf's snarl longbow. At least for me, I have to really think about it. Um, okay, so let's... That's going to cost 24 and 27. Increased critical hit damage by 20%. That's pretty, wow. This bow's a monster, man. At least, you know, for where we are at this moment in time, anyways. I'm going to put this back in my number two slot, too. And then we're really only going to use this for breaking stuff. So let's put it down in the secondary. And um, maybe we'll put the wand up here. Very cool. 
All right, I am just having so much fun playing this game, you guys. I, I'm not even exactly sure what it is about this game, but it's just, it's so fun to play. Um, You know, and I, I felt that way about Valheim when it first came out, too. And Valheim is a very good game as well. Um, and I've spent a pretty decent number of hours in playing Valheim, too, so... Anyway, okay, so let's put you back in there. I, I think we need a total of five sparks before we can do the next flame upgrade. Um, yeah, we need a total of five, so it'll be a, a little while before we can do this. Plus, we have to, I think this is one of the bosses, so we're going to have to take that boss on next before we can do that as well. Cool. Um, all right, I think we're ready to go. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go out and mine up another batch of flintstone just so I can have a hundred arrows on me and there's actually like a little patch of flintstone right over here uh, where did I see that at somewhere over here by the thing oh nice parry there OG all right whatever just go away uh, yeah right here yeah, there's a little patch of flintstone right here. So I'm going to mine that up, make myself another 50 arrows, and then we can kind of shoot with impunity uh, with, you know, pretty decent arrows. And then I'll probably sleep the night, and then in manana we will go after the alchemist. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. As it turns out, the salt mine location and the ancient vault are right next to each other, so we are going to go... Uh, do both of those. I uh, I went ahead and had the hunter make us a rug here, so it increased our rested our, our comfort level to 13, which gives us a rested bonus of 18. So that adds another minute to our rested bonus. Okay, I think we're ready to set out. And um, I thought, was there something else I was going to tell you guys? Mm I don't think so. We, we made another 100, uh, another 50 arrows, so we have a total of 100. Okay, so let's head on over to the spire, and then we're going to go west this time instead of east and see what kind of trouble we can get into. We're good at that. All right, so let's go ahead and make that the waypoint. basically want to go this direction I think um, you know, maybe we should launch from over here instead this looks like a like a vineyard or something here our farm Oh, yeah, look at all the corn and stuff here. This is cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Probably most of you do because you probably saw it. But next to the... Um, not not too far... What was that? Uh, after you come out of the cave, you know, right when you start the game and go down to where you build the house, uh, there, there's a corn stalk. Uh, off to the right, and it gives you three corn each time you pick it. So, that's uh, something to tell you in case you guys didn't know. Yeah, so let's pick all the corn. You know, this just gives us plant fiber, which, you know, that's easy enough to get, so I'm not going to take up an inventory slot with that, but I do want to pick the fresh corn. Um, Why can't I pick that? What? What the hell? That was weird. Let's try it again. Yeah, that is, that one's bugged out. You can't pick it. Hmm. And there's one more right here. Okay, so that gave us a total of seven... Really? That's it? Seven corn? Oh, no. <laughs> 27. Okay. I was going to say, what? We should have a way more than that. Um, for now, I'm just going to get rid of these two things to save us some space here. Okay. 
All right, so we need to go that direction. But I want to just check out this house here really quick since we're here. Harvest Homestead. And a wolf over there. Look at that damage. These are level 5 wolves, too. Nice. Oh, I love this new bow, you guys. It's just amazing. It is amazing. Another wolf somewhere. Where? Right there. Hey, you better run. Okay, cool. Let's pick this. Bunch of cloth. Potential cloth. That, oh. Look at that. Ice bolts. Okay. That was cool. Um, again, you know, because we're we're kind of more questing than we are. Oh, wow. What is that? Tomatoes? Tomatoes. Oh, cool. That's the first I've seen those. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave the mushrooms for now. Why do we have combat music? I don't know. Uh, what do these do? Dexterity. The red and juicy tomato if handled with carrot can have dexterity enhancing effects. Nice. So that gives us a, a stamina cap. Um, well, actually, no. What is, what is dexterity in this game? Increases range damage by 5% per attribute point. Nice. Okay, so actually, we would probably want this to take the place of corn. Um, not likely we can cook that. I wouldn't think, anyways. Okay, cool. Um, now, yeah, we were just in there. Let's take a quick look in the house here. Got a little... Oh, oh. Get out of here. Hey, a lot of rats down here. Is that it? Alright. I don't know. This, this might give a little more light than the other torch. I can't really tell for sure. Okay. Secret. I wonder why it opens and then closes again. Like that. That's kind of weird. that oh it's honey nice so this would be a great place to come and just gather resources like crazy so you know what i might do is i might i might put a flame altar over here and then come back here and just loot the crap out of this place Here's a, a thingy. I buried it deep. They came in droves again yesterday, sunburnt heathens. They twist and mangle their bodies every time they bow to their gods, their idols, the ancients. Too many mouths to feed. They only want alms. I'd send them back to the Kindle wastes. They won't fool me. I buried my treasure in the fence lot underneath the small shelter not far from here. They won't find it when it's hidden beneath the mud. Tonight, I'll sleep deeply. Hmm. Okay, so small shelter... In the fenced lot underneath the small shelter in the mud. Okay. Oh, those are nails. I'm going to take those. Some bandages. Looks like we got a wolf or something.
Yeah, we filled... Wait, have we been down here already? I think so. This is where we killed all the rats, right? Yeah, because we came down through that way. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely a place that I will come back to off camera and just loot the crap out of it. Lots of good resources in here. It's just cloth. Oh yeah, let's grab the hide because we're all about making the the uh, you know the stuff in the drying rack. Somebody died in the bathtub. There's a toity, an old fashioned toity. Okay, so, fenced area, shack, mud, treasure. We were out, uh, no, I don't think I've been in here. Wolf probably killed that critter. Okay, here's a fenced area. Oh, yuck. I think I see it. Uh, do I? How do I get to that? Do I gotta dig it out? Probably. Is that enough? There we go. Ooh, look at that. Shepherd's Lightning. Okay. Um, we'll probably melt that down for runes. But uh, nice find, though. <laughs> look at the mud on my, my feet. Oh, that's hilarious. I love it. <coughs> um, nice weapon, though, man, for sure. It, and you just make its critical chance increase by... Each time you upgrade it. Um. Well, we're, I'm not gonna melt it right now. We'll um. We'll take it back with us, and we'll we'll make a decision later with it. I don't think we came in here either. Okay. So yeah, let's do this. Let. What? Let's set up a a thingy here. So that we can just fast travel. Um, so I'm gonna need. Do I have? I heard something. Uh, no, we need five stone. Just looking to see if there's any stone to pick up. some over here there's like a whole nother thing over here though oh nice okay we got a waypoint wood guard I like this place oh we got a level nice There's a lot of stuff to explore around this place. Okay, let's take a look at that. We have two points, and we want to start moving towards Ranger. Uh, what does Beastmaster kind of do? Greatly increases the zoom while aiming with the bow. Increases your poison resistance. Poison resistance is increased by more. Increases endurance, stamina. Wild animals within 50 meters will not uh, or will be pacified unless attacked. It does not affect animals corrupted by the shroud. When you are targeted by an attack, wild animals within 50 meters will attack the enemy. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. But 
the eagle eye sounds good. Oh, multi-shot. Adds a 20% chance to spawn a flurry of arrows that spread slightly. You can draw and use your bow while gliding. You will fall slowly. Ooh, well, that's cool. Uh, yeah, okay. So if we're going to do a ranged shell shock, inf infuse your ranged explosives with mana. They now stun enemies. Yeah, that's more like a rogue kind of thing. That's pretty nice, though. Pressing the jump button while gliding will give you a small height boost. We could have used that in the last episode, huh? Uh, what is this? Sneak attack. Sneak attack deals massive 10 times damage to unaware enemies. Okay, that's not with the bow, though. Okay, well, I think... What's this do? Jump attack. Uh, this gives us more shroud time. That's kind of nice. I think, though, that I want to... I definitely want to move up to here, because this stuff's going to be just amazing when the time comes. So this increases our dexterity, which is our range to damage. We have two points. Um, is it worth it to do this? I mean, shroud time's pretty damn nice. Two more minutes. Hmm. No, I, I think I want to focus on Ranger. So... Let's go ahead and do dexterity. And then we will, you know, we'll have to wait for we get more points. And then we'll do marksman and we'll, we'll start working up this way. And I'll probably get, I like that eagle eye though too. Uh, so we'll probably get all of this stuff here and, you know, for, for our next points. And then, you know, if we still have more points after that, we'll figure out what we want. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Okay, well, I'm, I've gotten massively sidetracked at this place, but kind of a neat place, though. Mostly just interested in um, chess, if we can find them. More tomatoes. Nice. What are these? A, a, a rolian flower? All right, what does that do? Spirit. Okay, so that's going to be a caster thing, which we're not really too interested in. But at least we know where to find them if we need them for some particular recipe. What is that? Dried purple berry. There we go. What is that? Heal channel. Oh, can we use that? Bees. Can we use that on ourself? Metal scraps. Oh, here's a thingy. My final journey. My brother, all hope seems to be lost for me. The nurse Helen says there's nothing for me to do but rest, but I won't have it. The people of the Kindle Waste, they speak of the ancients as if they could do anything. Do you recall the obelisk where we used to play as children? I will make my way there no matter what. Perhaps there's a cure for me yet. Do not follow. You can't stop me, Vettel. <coughs> okay. So I wonder if Vettel ever found his cure. Um... It just goes downstairs. Goes out onto a balcony with a chest. Fire and ice bolt. There's more tomatoes down there. We gotta go get them. Um, I want to try and see if we can. Um, heal ourselves with the with the staff in that. That heal thing, the doodle. 
Okay, so let's... Oh, man, we're out of space. Let's put this down here. And... I guess it's making a, a little bit of a lightning noise. Okay, so to charge this... Heal channel. Okay, and then... Let's allow ourselves to take a little bit of damage. Oh, wow, look at the space out here. This could be a place to build uh, build something. All right, what I'm going to do is... Yeah, we'll let him hurt us a little bit. Now, if we if we grab this guy, can we heal ourselves? Oh, look at that! All right, nice. I think we're gonna hang on to the staff after all. <laughs> That's cool. I love it. All right, yeah, we're we're gonna hang on to this man. This we can heal ourselves with it. That is fantastic. Um, we only have six charges left though. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna... Here, let's just use those. And... Uh, let's get rid of this. We don't need those. We don't need these. I just need to make a little room. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need the bones. I do want to hang on to everything else, though, I think. For the moment. Maybe, yeah, let's get rid of this too, because if we if we do end up needing it at some point, we know where to get it. Alright. Yeah, that's cool, man, that we can heal ourselves. I love it. I love it. Alright. Now, um I still want to make a, a thingy. You know, a uh, whatchamacallit. You know, the, the thingy whatchamacallit? Can I be a little more vague, maybe? There's a lot of beehives in there, but the flame altar so that way we can just teleport straight here and uh, get all these wonderful resources in fact there's there's more things to read here we're not making very much progress for the salt mines and the alchemists are we uh, a refuge a small caravan of refugees arrived today from the Kendall Waste. a long journey I've never been good with strangers, but there was no time to tattle I dove into work dressing the wounds a battle for life and death even now sadly some lost we put them to rest in the crypt below. May the northern winds guide them to their afterlife. There's one who might live despite it all, a deep leg wound, but maybe not too far gone. The wounded, Salim, smiles a lot, says he owes me his life. Just luck, I think. Okay. And what do we got going on here? Is this like a church? I think it is. Oh! There's a dude there. And he doesn't look very friendly. He did, though. The new arrivals have wasted no time breaking ground, building something. Their determination is fanatical. A fling sanctum, Salim says. Some nights I've lingered near the caravan, Salim insists. Over the fire, they talk of their home, the sands, and the creeping ruins. So much sorrow. Salim says I am like a daffodil, the first sign of spring. He is a fool, though a sweet one. Okay. Uh, there's something down here, isn't there? I don't know if I want to break it and just fall down there, though. Hmm. I mean, so here's the thing: I, we need to we need to have a come to Jesus meeting about what we're going to do in this episode. <laughs> we're already 23 minutes minutes into it, and I have made no progress towards the salt mines. Um, this is kind of creepy. 
All right, you know what the hell? We're here. Let's just do it. Salt mines aren't going anywhere. We laid another one to rest today. Poor folk traveled all this way looking for respite, only to find ruins and scraps. This church won't hold, Helen has said, as much. The wind howls and the fort and forges new paths into our halls every night. Our roof has been torn apart by the storms and we're too busy tending to the caravan's people to patch it up. Yet we must stay. We are needed here and will hardly find shelter elsewhere. Burying these vagabonds next to relics and artifacts feels wrong to me, but perhaps Helen is right. Maybe the old times must make way for new customs and rights. Oh, this is an enshrouded area. Okay, um... Let's go down here, because, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Whoa. What the hell was that? Can you guys get me from in there? Watch, I'm probably going to trigger something that's going to open all these doors at the same time. Maybe it's when I open that sarcophagus up there. I bet you that's what's going to happen. All right, well, let's get ready. Uh, I should probably also uh, do some of this. And some of this. And some of this. Oh, all food slots are occupied. Okay. Ring of Mana. Eight mana and mana regeneration. All right, we'll take that. Um, we might break it down for runes. Yeah, the door's open. Okay. Are there baddies on this side? Too? Oh, yeah, there's baddies on this side. All right. No, you guys aren't that tough. You're not that tough. We're getting salt off of them, too. Okay, let's go deal with these guys. You're dead. Definitely take the salt. There's something going on back here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so yeah. Got ourselves a mana ring. That's kind of cool. I think that's it for down here. Did we go in this little building here? Ice bolts. I want more healing healing bolts, game. Give me more healing bolts. Okay, so just somewhere in this vicinity is where we want to set up the the thing and um, let's get some stone. We need five pieces of stone, right? Yeah, I think that's all we need. Okay. Right there's good enough. We're just using it for a fast travel place. Okay, I think we've done a reasonably good job of exploring this place. We probably didn't hit every single thing, but... We hit quite a bit. Um, we're probably going to need to have to save the... Um, the Alchemist for tomorrow. But let's... Be, before we wrap up the episode, let's do the salt mine. Uh, so I'm going to go back home, repair, sleep, all that stuff, and then I'll meet you guys back here or you know close enough to where we can go do the salt mine. All right, guys, it is the next morning, and we are on our way towards the salt mines. Let's see what's going on over here. 
Wow, look at all that flintstone there. Is this how we get down into the salt mines? I'll bet you it is. Let's look at the map for a second. Yeah, it's just right here, so this is probably where we need to go. Alrighty. Sound like I heard something growling. Like a tiger kind of growl. Nope. Get off there. Alright. I sense good fortune. Salt lines every godforsaken cliff. It fills the air, turns rum to brine. And yet I can taste it. There's something waiting for me here. I feel it deep in the rocks. A vibration upon my fingertips. Uh, fingertips. A pulse. The same twitch I feel before drawing an ace. I know it well. A buzz to snap my streak of misery. Good fortune, finally. Somebody named Bertram. Okay. So we'll re need to remember to get out here. We Out of here, we need to come back kind of to the west here. Um, okay. How do we get down there without breaking our leg? That seems like an awfully long drop. Oh. I'm such a noob. <laughs> I've got a freaking glider. Uh, okay. So. So I guess we want to go this way. I do have, yeah, I've got these with me, so if we do happen to get stuck down here, we we can do redo those. Egerton Salt Mites. Okay. Hey, somebody just shot at me. Who did that? Who did that? I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, there it is. Get out of here, bug. A little ter terrain glitching there. All right, he's dead. There was another one right there. He's dead too. All right, let's get melee. Guys, nice. We got some runes. More runes. Oh, nope. We don't want to hit those. No sirree Bob. That's probably salt right there. Can we get up high enough to get a little bit of a break from the poison in sickness, I believe the shroud to be spores, tiny, almost minuscule fragments that spread through the air, now condensed, heavy, and potent. They cling to airways, eyes, fur, and skin, and they spread. The fungi release these spores upon contact, but their roots might have been anchored below us for a long time. We awoke a slumbering malady at the Earth's core when we built the first elixir well, distilled the first elixir. The mysterious wonder opened the floodgates to ruin. Okay, that was from uh, Balthazar. Hunter's bow. Okay. Um, that is probably not as good as what we have. Not even close. So what we're gonna do is this. Get some runes from him. All right. What's in here? It is dark in here. 
here. Creepy crawlies. Okay, we are starting to run out of... Um, whose one was it? And unfortunately, we're not high enough here. Is there something behind this? Yeah, it looks, looks like there's a thing to loot. Uh, we're going to have to take one of these. Wait, what? That's supposed to give us more time. How come that took our time away? I don't get it. Get it the hell out of here. Whew. Are we safe here? Yeah. Um, it seemed to me like when I took this potion, it reduced our time. That's weird, man. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't get that. Let's get back up here. Okay. that was all right what else is there for us to explore in here there's something down here trailer parts critter parts right now. Oh, there's a thingy up here. Okay, good. I'm not going to take it right this second, but now that we know that it's there. There's two thingies up here. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. My faculty, sharp as ever. The thumping leads the way. A bold, beautiful pounding. It rattles my bones, but wets my palate. My shy compatriots have no taste for riches, or so it seems, as they departed while I slept. We had just broken into the tunnel where, deep at the inn, the wonderful buzzing seems to sing. No matter. More for Bertram, I say forward. Ho! Buzzing at the end of the tunnel. That sounds a little foreboding. What do we got here? Okay. Another wand. Not likely as good as our current wand which is an epic that does 14 damage. This is, oh, okay, wait a minute. This does 17 damage and it's because it's a level five. And this is a level three. And since I'm not planning on upgrading these at all, because I just use them to bust things open, this actually, uh, 17, 20, th that would come out to 23 in total. This would come out to 20 in total, plus the mana leech. So, yeah, I think we melt this, and this takes its place. I want to get those runes. Okay, so, um, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to mine up some salt here until my enshrouded, or I mean my, yeah, you know, whatever that shit is goes down and then we'll take one of those things and then we'll finish exploring um, the rest of the Egerton salt mines here um, you know there there's suggestion that there might be some kind of big insect boss or something at the end because they keep talking about buzzing we'll have to see how that goes okay uh, we have quite a few stacks of salt here as you can see let's go ahead and take this now and that gets us back to about five minutes and 20 seconds so we still have this one too here if we need it uh, oh look at that explosives cool uh, all right so yeah let's keep going this direction 
right, let's hit that so we don't run into it on the way back. All right, we got dudes. short but oh we got an enemy pay attention the OG Didn't quite time that one right it's all right okay um where's that short bow at right here 12 power Definitely rune material. And this is two. 93 runes. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? More runes. Oh, shit. No, we don't want to get close to that thing. There's something inside of here that we can loot. There's this guy. Okay. Another sword we can turn into runes. I guess that's... Uh, what's that? Oh, shroud liquid. Okay. Okay, let's go down to the end here. Remember they were saying something about buzzing at the end of the, the end of the thing. Let's go up this way. There. there we go. Okay. I'm gonna damn it. I'm gonna try this again. I don't understand. Why is that re reducing our time or at least not giving us more time? shit. Ah, uh, stuck. Okay. We need to skedaddle and see if we can get back to that that other thing. Okay. Whew. So that gets us back to about three minutes. That's not a lot of time. I almost wonder if we should... We should just leave the place and go up along the... Oh, wow, look at all the salt in here. Go up along the top and then hang glide down into that spot with a full charge. That's kind of what I'm thinking we need to do here. Okay. Whew. What a deal, man. Um, let's look at the map again. Oh, that's where the buzz in the walls is. So this is a whole nother thing down here that we started to, to do. 
Hmm. I really want to. I, I want to know what the buzz in the walls is all about. <laughs> <coughs> so, I'm gonna go home, sleep, repair. I'll meet you guys back here at the mines for buzz in the walls. All right, guys. Uh, we're back, and I think. Let's look at the map here. It looks like we need to go this direction. This way. Okay. Buzz in the mines. Critter nest. Is it just a bunch of little critters or is there going to be like a big boss critter in here? I definitely see a bunch of little critters. Well, we're in it now. Okay, we got a thing here. Okay, lightning staff. We'll take a look at that later. Is that it? They came all the way down here just for that? Hmm. Well, we got a staff and, uh, you know, that we can turn into salvage, or, or not salvage, uh, rune, so it wasn't a complete. Um, disappointment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a little anticlimactic, I suppose. I don't see anything behind there. Well, that takes care of Buzz in the walls. I don't think that was, um... Was that... Was that an actual quest? Clear journal. Oh, it was. Yeah, okay. It was just a little mini quest. Gotcha. Uh, all right. Well, guys, we're going to have to wrap up the episode here because we have gone pretty long again. Um, so the plan will be to go after the alchemist in the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.